My name is Kiora Ga Gilis. My other name is Byron Alford. And this weekend I had a pot botch, bringing my grandfather's name and that back to the big house now. It was a really big learning experience because this is our family's first pot botch since the 1940s, I believe. My chieftainship came from my grandfather, Alfred Newman Scow. I started looking on the internet. And I typed in Peter, Peter Scow and then the bear came up at the Museum of Anthrop Anthropology. And I thought, wow. We uh, received an email from Byron Alfred requesting the use of the bear piece in his potlatch coming up at Alert Bay. The reason we loan things to potlatch is because families approach us and they say, we know this piece is in the collection and we'd like to bring it back into use. The way the museum acquired the bear figure was that the Scow family sold it in 1961. So this is a copper breaking bear. It was made by Herbert Johnson, who was a very accomplished carver from Wakeman Sound. They would have chosen his work for different reasons, one of them being that they probably wanted that strong, bold style. When you see a, you know, a supernatural bear, for example, holding a human head, it's definitely speaking to some relationship of the ancestors to the supernatural bear. So this bear has started its journey. It had to leave its display case. Staff here at the museum made this box for it so that it's all protected and padded. Just the feeling of knowing that it's going back and being used is really heartwarming. I think it's one of the most important things that we do. And it's, it feels very um, special to be a part of that. It's ready to go. It looks like it's happy. <laughs> I feel happy for it. Tomorrow, off we go on the ferry to Vancouver Island. So then we'll drive up from Nanaimo four hours all the way up to, to Port McNeil, another ferry to Alert Bay. And then the next morning, we will bring it into the big house. Yeah. And we're going to display it today. And we're going to display it today, put it out there. We'll hand it over to Byron and his family. Welcome you here today. We'll be able to see what happens next. My mother's name is Wadamga and she's 91 years old. She doesn't really remember her father potlatching much. I had lost both my brothers. My mother said I would be stood up and take my grandfather's chieftainship because I am the youngest and I'm the only one left out of my mom's sons. When you think about objects in museums, the most dramatic change is when they leave the case and they become activated through ceremony, through a family connecting with them. And so these terms like artifact, object, you know, they aren't that anymore. Because they become animated, they become filled with life, which is what we, in our museum, we're trying to work toward that. And you can, you can feel the change when they come back that change just becomes part of the life of that, of that object. I think the artifacts are there to be kept safe, but it's nice that we're allowed to borrow them and bring them back for our potlatches and let the people see what our history is in that. It meant a lot to me that it came home and we could see it now. It sat right in front of me there and that made me feel really good. It probably wanted to stay here with me. <laughs> it's like when we come together, we're all just one big family. All our connections are there, and it uplifts all of us. It makes us feel great.
I believe my brother figured there was about seven to 800 people there. It was a beautiful day.